Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ming Yuedong. I'm working in Women's Hospital, School of Medicine, Zhejiang University. I'm taking care of the Department of Reproductive Genetics. My division provide genetic test for patients who need it. I'm glad to be here to, bless, to present my recent work using BioNano. Here are the patients. The couple came to my clinic and told me that they had they experienced two consecutive pregnancies of fetuses with enlarged ventricles. For both fetuses, no other abnormalities were found and the anti sickness were normal. Both pregnancies were terminated. No autopsy was performed on either fetus. This family has no other conditions and are affected family members. Chromosome microarray CMA was provided for the second fetus and no pathogenic variant was called. And then whole exon sequencing West trio was carried out on the DNA sample of the second fetus and her parents. And uh, a splicing variant was found, detected in the problem. And this variant was inherited from the father. No other pathogenic variant associated with the phenotypes were uh, identified. Now, let's look at the lemma one. Lemma one is associated with PB syndrome. That is a that is a uh, autosomal recessive disorder, which is characterized by cerebellar dysplasia, cerebellar cyster, and uh, enlarged false ventricle. Uh, most patients present uh, ataxia, displayed motor development, language impairment, and intellectual disability with variable severity and other symptoms. Enlarged ventricles are not the characteristic of PB syndrome. However, mildly enlarged ventricles have been reported in three children with PB syndrome by two groups. So we hypothesized the uh, fetus have PB syndrome representing enlarged ventricles. So we focused on lemma one. Since the structure variant might be the cause for PB syndrome, we speculated there might be another pathogenic variant on the other allele that is beyond the detection ability of West. So we reanalyzed the West data and we noticed a slightly increased coverage from exon 8 to exon 32 at lemma 1 locus in the sample of Proband and her mother. That indicated a possible duplication in chance in the Proband as there was no fetal DNA sample left after West. Subsequent studies were carried out on parental samples to determine whether there is a structure variant, data of CMA or was reanalyzed, no significant no significant abnormality was identified by routine analysis. Notably, when we lowered the, the cutoff value to 24 kilo base pair for duplication and deletion, and looked into Lemma one gene, a, a suspected duplication from exon, from exon six to exon thirty two was observed. At this point, both West and CMA implied a possible duplication in the Lemma one gene, but none of them was able to see where the duplication is and how it duplicates, whether it envelops Lemma one gene. We need a new tool to answer these questions. 
BioNano is a long-range DNA-based technology to visualize structure variant through the whole genome. We performed BioNano optical mapping on the sample, on, on the maternal sample. The results show we got very good coverage. It's straightforward to visualize to visualize uh, the structural variant in the circus plot. We know lemma one gene is located on chromosome 18. You can see just a duplication in the short arm of chromosome 18. We checked the, the duplication on map view. A duplication is about 48 kilobase pair with the same orientation. With the same orientation on one area of lemma one locus, but the other one was normal. To validate and define the break point at a single nucleotide level, we performed qPCR and the song sequencing on the maternal sample. qPCR revealed two copies of exon 6 and exon 34, but three copies of exon 7 and exon 33. And the song sequencing further confirmed the carrier status of the mother and further demonstrated the break points in intron 6 and intron 33. In this case, BioNano provided the location and the orientation information for the long duplication. Genetic analysis described above revealed the problem that carried a compound heterozygous variants in the lemma one gene. And this variants were inherited from the parents. The surprising variant was inherited from the father and was projected being pathogenic according to ACMG guideline. And the long duplication variant was inherited from the mother. Pathogenic could be predicted because the long duplication disrupted the lemma one gene. At this point, the genetic causal for the two consecutive features with the enlarged ventricle was demonstrated, and the genetic counseling could be provided for on the basis of the genetic analysis described above. This is this part of study was published in Genomic Medicine, a Nature Partner Journal. This is this is all I would like to present in this web meeting. Thank you very much for your attention. And I would like to take all your questions and comments by email. Here is my email inbox. Thank you. Thank you very much again.